y'all it's kaya and today i'm bringing you a quarantine and chill makeup tutorial it's gonna be super quick and like this tutorial is for everybody who should in the house who still needs to produce content so videos ig post um ig videos all of that good stuff so so my face is already moisturized and primed looking all moisturized and good okay so i'm gonna start with my foundation you can use whatever foundation you would like to i'm using the clinique even better refresh foundation and so the clinique foundation is really good for my skin because it likes to break out all the time so it helps prevent the breakouts as i'm wearing makeup and everything so in the center of my face i'm going to be doing the clinique and then on the perimeter of my face i'm going to be wearing the maybelline dream liquid loose so you're going to see me applying it now and then we'll be coming right back darker color the liquid dream mousse for the perimeter of my face you want to make sure that you get the entire perimeter of your face so you won't look like you have on a mask so go back to your ears go under your chin I also like to take the dark color around my mouth because I tend to be darker there anyways. And so the darker foundation will help color correct that. Now we're gonna blend, 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 blend. You don't wanna see any lines of demarcation anywhere. It just wants to flow from your ears to your neck, to your chin, on down. Blend, blend, blend. That's like the number one makeup tip for me, blend. Make sure everything is blended seamlessly. And there you have it, a nice blended foundation look. If you wanted to stop here, you could put your brows on, your lips, call it a day. But me, I like to be a little more highlighted and dimensional in the face. So I'm going to go in with some concealer. And this is the e.l.f. 16 hour camouflage concealer. I love this concealer. It's definitely not too light. It's not too dark and it's not going to make you look too, too bold under there. But it's going to look good. And this is some full coverage concealer, so I don't like to put too much and spread it too far. Because, I mean, that's what I have foundation for. I don't need that much coverage for my face. So if you do need a little more coverage, then definitely feel free to use a little bit more. I like to take it down my nose. So gotta be highlighted this is your t-zone area and it's always more highlighted than the rest of your face the perimeters are always darker and the center of your face is always lighter so i can take it down around my nose a little bit and even under my nose like that and i'll leave it here because once i start to blend it'll go out so yeah let's blend it away I even like to blend on my eyelid, like I said, for the coverage on the eyelid. And you can see one side blended, one side not. This color still allows for me to still look super natural and not like super highlighted and beat. Okay, so I'm going to blend the other side. I like to blend out towards the temple. On the eyelid again. I'm 
We're gonna grab the nose under the nose. And you want to make sure those lines are blended. You don't want to see any lines of demarcation. It just wants to look blended and flowing flawlessly into the foundation. You can even put a little bit on your chin. There you have it. Now, I like to go on with a little lighter foundation, just a little bit, just for the oomph under the eye. I love a super highlighted under eye, but not necessarily for videos and content. Usually when I'm going out, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to add a little bit just to brighten it up a little bit more. Now it's time to set the under eye. And I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Mac foundation powder, but I just used it as setting powder. Right up under the eye. Everywhere we put concealer is where I'm placing this powder. like to take a slight bronzing color I don't really like to contour too much because my face is already pretty slim and sucked in so I don't really need to contour to make it look slimmer and chiseled I just like the bronze look and I'm using the black opal suede mocha just a little bit just to bring that bronzy look to my face I like to take it under the chin a little bit and then on the forehead, just a little bit. So the perimeters of your face, you wanna make sure it's blended and... Now I'm about to start blending. Make sure you take it to the hairline. If you wear a wig, take it to the wig line. <laughs> and you just wanna make sure it's blended. just so my concealer won't be sitting and creasing and you know creating lines I like to go ahead and set my concealer as soon as I do it and then I like to go in with my cream bronzing color sometimes I'll do a full face and like do the concealer and then do the cream contour or bronze but it just depends on my mood really once I'm done blending that I like to take a little bit of that on my nose. Whatever is left on the brush, I'll take it on my nose and rub it down the sides of my nose. A little bit. Like that. So my nose can have a little definition. So my face is looking nice and bronzy. I like to set that bronze color in place with the Black Radiance Press Powder in Ebony. And I like to take a fluffy taper brush. It's tapered so it can get right in there super quick. I just like to go over everywhere I just bronze. take that same color and go right into my eyelids yes right into the eyelids for 
for some dimension. Then I like to take my I like to take my eyebrow pencil and just fill in my brows. the super full colored in brows i just like to do hair like strokes so it can look more natural but still look full at the same time especially for a look like this so i'm about to go in with the concealer that i highlighted under my eye to conceal my brows and make them look super snatched and ready for life so i'm about to conceal really quick and come right back <music> concealed under there i like to take a little fluffy concealer brush blender brush to blend it all out there you have it your eyebrows look good and snatched i like to set under my eyebrows, I like to take the 700 powder that I use to highlight the center of my face under my brow, just to set it real good. And again, I like to take the color that I used on the perimeter of my face to um, bronze in the crease, just to redefine it, blend it in. And pretty much there you have it. I like to apply a little blush. So I'm going to rosy up my cheeks just a little bit. Just a little bit. No, I'm kidding. I like blush. It's just so pretty. So maybe a lot bit, but not too much. I like to put a little on my nose. that's it i'm about to set my face and then apply my mascara in my lips and then we'll be ready for the quarantine and chill slash content approved ready to slay makeup hold on so i'm sprayed i'm set it's setting in and as it sets i like to as it sets i like to Take the bottom of the beauty blender and just blend to make sure it all just blends and melts in seamlessly. Just blend, blend, blend. Okay, while it dries. So it's still drying, it's still wet. But at this point, you can go in and begin your mascara so um you can either do mascara and like build it up to make your real lashes look voluminous and popping or you can just pop on a lash for the sake of this video we're just shooting quick content and trying to get these instagram photos out so i'm just gonna do some mascara and just make it pop okay so i'll be right back <music> Alright guys, so I'm done with my mascara. It's bold enough for me and my liking with how I like my natural lashes to look. So I'm about to do my lips, get my hair together, and I'll be right back. And for the lips, I'm just going to do a little brown lip liner 
and a nude lip gloss and i'll be right back all right guys i am back i have my hair done ready to slay the gram slay the book slay twitter you know we just ready ready to go out to the grocery store and slay the cashiers whatever you're trying to slay we're gonna do it um to finish off my look i like to add my mugs where i naturally have mugs at there you have it so just my hair a little bit and then we're ready we're ready to study gram so if i wasn't Filming this, it'll literally take me about 15 minutes to do this look, like a quick makeup look. And then if I was going to put on lashes, it'll probably take me about 20 minutes, 18 to 20 minutes to put on the lashes and do this look. So there you have it. I don't have on any eyeshadow. I just use what I use on my face. So it's just quick to use the same products. Go boom, 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 boom. Done. Slay. And then be done. <laughs> okay. All right, y'all. I have to come back because the beat girl in me you know the slay girl in me just had to come back and darken the brows so i have darkened my brows again just take a little darker pencil and fill it in and just make it a little more bold and dark and then if you really want to slay social media and just like you know you already looking good and you it's feeling good daddy. period period you want to do a little inner eye tear to my where my mirror can you pass my mirror thanks i need a new palette make it pop so I'm gonna take it a little light, get a little gold champagne color to put in your inner eye. Tear it up like this. You don't wanna do too much. No, you wanna do a lot. Do a lot, sis. Do and like with this inner eye tear up, you can do whatever color you want to. So if you want a little pink fit, pop some purple or some pink or whatever color you want to pop, pop it. I'm doing a little gold look here, like that, to pop on the gram, and then, all right, guys, so I added lashes and inner eye tear duct just for the increased slay, so if you want to do this, it'll only add, like, four to five minutes to the routine I just showed you, so make sure you check it out to slice all social media outlets we slaying everything tiktok we slaying instagram facebook twitter pinterest whatever else you're on slay it okay and you can do it super quick and from the comforts of your home so i hope you're staying safe i hope you're staying prayed up i hope you're covering your family and your friends and your church and covering everybody in this world guys because it's so serious so stay at home stay safe stay healthy stay prayed up and have faith I love y'all. Bye.